a person who born in a small little apartment in Chembur. And uh, you know, normally in South Indian Sangeeta is over here, she also knows. Uh, we, some instrument or the other, or some vocal, vocal class, or some dance class, or something, kids are you know, learning. Koi dekha violin leke ja rahe hai, koi murdagam leke ja rahe hai, koi, you know. So it's part of the culture and, you know, I have learned music from a very young age. I learned the veena, then I learned singing. So singing, performing, getting exposure to music was there from a very, very young age. But then what happens is you are moving at a very crazy speed in life. You, you do your 10th standard, you get a decent mark and then you do the 12th standard, then you get these marks over there. Then, you know, everybody is like pressurizing you, what do you want to do, what do you want to do? So I think in, the, in those days, you know, we did not have a whistling words or anything like that. We just had an option to doctor or engineer. So, you know, so I had to take a call. So, I mean, uh, engineering computers were very interesting and I said, okay, let me, let me do engineering. And though I enjoyed it, of course, I mean, made a lot of friends over there and did my engineering. Engineering also got over and then uh, uh, my passports were being taken to, to go to the US because I was working on Oracle 6 which was uh, the in thing that time and anybody who's worked on Oracle for more than 6-8 months they are immediately transported to the USA and then you start earning thousands and thousands of dollars and you know you start programming music. So all this was happening at a great speed you know. And at some stage I had to, and I, and I started working also, yeah, I forgot about that. I was working for a software uh, uh, company called Leading Edge Systems, and I started developing software for them, and it was really happening. When a time came when I had to, you know, actually make a decision whether, yeah, in Nokrito, it was a good Nokri, mm -hmm. and it was paying well also, very secure, and I would have been, like all my friends are in the U.S. now in the Bay Area, in New York, all over. One day I decided, I told my boss, came, sir, I want to talk to you, Jara Nietzsche, I have a cigarette. So I took him down to the parking lot. And uh, I said, what is a cigarette? I just want to talk to you. I said that uh, I'm changing my career tomorrow. So I said, I'm going to get out are you crazy? You know your passports, your passport copies are taken. Your visas will happen now, very soon, and you'll be, you know, you'll be developing software for many. Our clients are very big people over there, and very soon your job is going to multiply, and you're going to really reach places. No, sir, I'm changing my career tomorrow. So, uh, what is your problem? Do you want to change from software to hardware? Hardware to marketing, What do you want? No, sir, I want to become a singer. So he, then he thought, I have completely lost it. <laughs> he said, boss, you don't know this is Oracle is the in thing now, you can't. Then I explained to him my whole thing about, you know, how I've been singing from my childhood and I'm, I'm, I've educated myself in music and that's my passion. <laughs> so so that was one thing which I could do for about 18 hours in a day and still not feel tired. That was something that I could listen to, keep listening to music. So I had to do a little bit of introspection and see, is this what I want to do? Do I want to sit behind a computer and develop software for some arbit guy, the boss whom I'm not even going to see, the client's head or whatever, and uh, you know, increase the turnover of some company which I'm not associated with? Or do I want to just enter every morning into a place where I look forward to, where I can spend the entire day without realizing, you know, um, guys, I mean, I we come into the studio in the morning at 10 o'clock and sometimes we don't even realize the, sometimes we don't even realize that we have not had lunch, we just skipped everything, you know, just, and we realize, oh my god, it's, you know, it's 9 o'clock in the night and we have to go back home, you don't realize it. And if you take up a job or if you do something that is, of your core competence, something that is within you, something that you enjoy doing and that that never ever tires you, I think success is 100% there for you. That's right. 